What's up, guys? I'm gonna make up air unit here. Uh, green lights over there on the disconnect. Looks like it's on. Nothing's running. Outside air damper's closed. Turn air is open. I'm gonna have to get up here to it. Um, I'm gonna have to clear some ice out. Looks like we've got a ladder here. Clear some ice and see where I need to be. Gas comes in on this side, so it's gonna be my burner over here. Looks like everything comes in on this side. Good thing it's gonna be hard to access over here. It's just a bad spot. So let's see if I can get to something and see what happened here. We're gonna make sure uh, we get all this ice going where we need it. Because I gotta be on this side so I can open that panel. Then I'll be able to move, let the ladder sit in the two panels, be able to access stuff. out on the inside it's a flame failure lockout <sighs> son of a bitch so I have to try to get a taller ladder because I can't get in there that's where my flame safeguard is going to be and uh, so now I should leave my doors open or I'll get on here that way I can't slide no I guess no way but down Thermostat of some sort up there. I'm gonna have to move to get to that. Got a lockout on my flame safeguard. All my limits. Everything over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it reset because I got a control inside. Maybe. There it goes. They got turned off inside right now, so um I have to Turn it on and see what it does. Try to get back up here quick enough. It's good. Should have a pre-purge, 30 or 90 seconds on the burner. Um, there's your regulator. Vent goes out the side. It's something we're gonna be looking at. Uh, just stopped working today. He said they came in and noticed it was blowing 45 degree air or something. I got some more controllers back there and all my electrical. Hmm. So let's turn it on inside, see what happens. Kicked it on inside. Outdoor air is not opening. Motor's running. It's loose, it's not even locked down. If it moved or not, there's the electric cord over there. Doing. 
get all the information off of it now. Like I said, it's late in the day. I'm gonna try to get down there and see if I've got voltage to the actuator and what those actuators are doing. Maybe they thought something was wrong with it and disabled it, but it was actually working maybe. You never know. I still don't think I've went into high fire. burning but um, I haven't heard it go to high fire at least it doesn't sound like it is I just cleared my regulator man and that thing went to high fire to go as soon as I cleared the vent. Like it wasn't putting enough gas out. So I'm going to get on the other side because I was just kind of leaning and getting around there. It basically just goes straight out and it's actually angled up. It's got the duct over top of it blocking it but got it angled down now. We're going to get it cleaned out real well. Take it loose here if we have to and blow it out. That might have been the bulk of our problem. And then we'll get a wire dug here and we can figure out the whole damper actuator issue. He's a rolling now. He, we were, he was watching the temp inside and he came out and said, man, what, what changed? Went from 55 to 100 and something real fast. So it went to high fire. That's what I was waiting for and I didn't hear. Uh, take this down and clean it out because it was angled up actually wrong uh, it's not protected by the duct I'm gonna supply my return supply goes out over there this guy's just shoved right through this corner so being up with all the weather we've had it's probably got all kinds of moisture in it let's get that taken care of and then we'll get the unit information and try to figure out the situation with these dampers. I'm probably not gonna mess with the dampers today. I'm gonna have to have a wire diagram. Come back, they're ready to leave. It's about 4.30, 5 o'clock now, and the guy's ready to go. We just got cleaned out. Some good old dry nitrogen. The end of a hose cut off. It's right on this quarter inch tubing. So we got it blown out, let's go put it back in. We got our vent hooked back up. We made a nice hard 90 coming out of there. And I reamed the end, both ends of the tube, to make sure it breathes well. So we're good here. Everything else is okay. This unit doesn't look that old. I think we got some control issues. So I'm gonna gather all the information as far as wire diagram and such, and then we can investigate those dampers down below. Uh, this will get them through the night at least. So, this guy's been fired since I left, no issues. Um, it's been a couple days now. So, just kind of looking at this control here. It's like I've got some summer and winter settings. Uh, I haven't changed anything yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut it down. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna set it down yet, but I'm gonna shut it down. Probably just use that switch, get everything to go back to normal. And then I'm gonna investigate some of my dampers, get my wire diagram out and see where some of this stuff wires. And uh, kind of go from there. I don't know if the wire diagram I have is correct, but I have a feeling, my theory, uh, Somebody propped the return air damper open either because they didn't know what they were doing or they it was doing something that it shouldn't have been. And when we came, the return air damper was open. I talked to the guy. He said, return air was propped open and the outside air was 100% open and they had no heat. Well, I wonder if the outside air wasn't supposed to be open and we were in low fire because of the regulator vent that I cleared the other day. And so he wasn't getting good temperature output because 
he said there was no lockout on the flame safe guard. It just was not heating well. And we said sub-zero temperatures outside air dampers open. He closed it quickly to just get heat in the building. But whatever that return air damper being propped, I don't know why that is. Um, I think that's going to be my two position damper. We'll have to verify that. And then uh, get, that, get that thing out of there and see where my signals come from. I'm guessing it's going to come from this controller here. System on, we're in winter. Discharge error is 85. So we should be okay. I'm gonna dig into this a little bit too. So I actually found a book inside. It doesn't have a legend, but inside the control panel, uh, inside there, uh, industrial commercial equipment is actually out of business from what I understand. And this is a different wire diagram. So I got mixing box, outdoor actuator, mixing box, return actuator. So that makes a whole lot more sense than what I'm looking at over here. Um, minimum position and a mixed air controller. So it looks like maybe they're both modulating, trying to maintain uh, a mixed air temperature. So we're gonna go with this and start exactly where i said turn the power off let's try to get the outdoor air actuator locked down and once we kill power i would assume i'm going to give it a stop command instead of killing power give it a stop command and i would assume all these dampers should go closed shut everything down. I figured the blower might run for a few minutes. Um, nonetheless, that stopped it. We'll get it started from there again. Let's go down and look at the damper. So it looks like I have same dampers. Four connection points. It's going to be modulating. Pink wire is the only wire that's not connected. But I got the same thing connected here. All my connections are tight. I pulled the thermostat cover out of the return air, and this is gonna try to work off mixed air temperature. So that one's more in the outside air for our mechanical stat there. And then it's got another sensor back there. And we'll get all this buttoned up when I get done, but everything over here is wired too. So um, I'm gonna lock this closed and we'll turn it back on and see what it does, and then kind of monitor it from there. Hopefully everything acts right. But we just need to make sure this actuator, because this one stayed open, it's going to be kind of hard to set this. Because if it's trying to turn the wrong way, and it really should be in the open position right now, I may open it and start from there since this one's open. Open this one and then turn it on and see if it doesn't start modulating. All right, so what I can see on our actuator, it can't turn any further this way because it's stopped. So that should be full open. The only way it can turn is counterclockwise because it won't turn that way. So now... As my damper turns counterclockwise, it should open this damper. So it should be in the closed position. And my theory might be correct that they was doing something they didn't want. I don't think this actuator is set correctly. And see, it can't turn any further this way, which would be my closed position. This lip overlaps with the other one. So it's gonna to try to open this way, and this would be 100% open. Because it does look like it's in the closed position right now. 
I'm not sure this actuator ever has set right, so let's loosen it and make this one right. And then this thing might just act normally. So I'm loose. This is open position. So it can't go any further this way, so it was sitting there locked up. That was caught on there too because it was sitting crooked. We got it. Hopefully our actuator is okay. Boom. So that went to the open position. This, somebody manually adjusted it. That's the manual adjustment screw. I don't even think we're going to need a wire diagram for this. Just a little common sense and uh, investigative diagnostics here. We'll leave that in there. We're going to put all our covers back on before we're done. So we went this way. So that one should be open. So we're going to lock it open. And then when it goes to close, it'll actually be able to close. How this ever got so jacked up. So we got that damper set. Uh, I'm just looking at all my linkage there. So this is one, there's a linkage on the other end too. The same way here, everything's connected. Nothing's been done there. So we'll make sure that everything's tight. So when this damper opens, all the dampers open. And let's go give it a run command and see what happens. Stop. No non voltage interruption. What? Okay. Make sure she fires off. Make sure she will. Uh, we got, we're going to listen and watch it go into high fire now because it's going to start in low fire. And then it should go to high fire after time delay. And then we'll monitor our damn pursuit. And I think their set point inside is 70 degrees. The interlock is going to be airflow interlock. Make sure the blower's running. And we're going to get this solenoid valve. Pilot solenoid valve is going to go first. It's the PTFI. After a 30 or 90 second purge. There goes my pilot solenoid. I got a good flame. See my gas valve actuate. Just uh, watch it for a little bit and watch our discharge temperature. And see uh, see if these things move or do anything else. So modulating one has started at 100%. I'm assuming this is going to be my outside air damper, and it's dropping slowly because I'm at 63 degrees. So it should be open in the return air, closing the outside air right now to raise this discharge temperature to set point. I think that's how it's gonna work. My dampers don't seem to be moving. This is the conduit that feeds up to here. I've got that one yellow wire, terminal 41. 
looks like it runs over to the extra controller or somewhere, but then this is going to be my other two wires here. 42 and 43. So on this side, feeds up to here. And I'm in Celsius, which doesn't help me, but I'm going to have a set point here and then manual electronic position. I have to dig into this stuff now. So I set it to auto. 6.3. So that's auto mode is what I'm in. It looks like heat on. Maybe let's leave it there for a minute. Uh, this thing, there, there are explosive materials inside so they're needing to ventilate but they're not trying to run a hundred and something degree comfort cooling they're ventilating and trying to keep the uh, just a neutral temperature we're gonna watch it for a little bit here uh, and then see what happens we can try to adjust this I'm not adjusting too much at once I want to see how everything reacts when I change stuff so this potentiometer here seems to adjust my return air. And there goes my damper. There goes my return air. I, I meant outsider. I didn't say outsider. The potentiometer seems to close that one, but it's actually operating both now so looks like we've got them working I doubt I'm gonna find actual set points for these things or where they should be set I set it to zero And I would think that's how they should operate. Return air closes while the, or the outdoor air closes while the return air opens. It's gonna go to 100% close. My return air is going open. Look at that tip come up. Set point is 27, I think it was. I'll have to calculate. But let's let it hit that. Let's see. Yeah, 27. That's like 80 something degrees, I would assume. Like 22, 70 something. I just know that as a basic point here. Okay, so my burner's going. Still running, but it's like it went to low fire. Okay. So as I'm reaching that temperature, the burner lowered fire. sensor there because that's a true mixed air sensor so if I'm controlling my mixed air let's go to well here let's see what happens let's turn it all the way down go under what I'm at now we're at 18. Let's see what it does from there. It looks like it's trying to maintain this temperature. Might need to adjust again if that went full close.
watch it for a little bit. We'll see what it does and go from there. So I set this guy to auto and it is trying to maintain what I said, 14. It dropped quick. I was running about 20 and I mean, it just started dropping. It's gonna try to get to that 14 degrees. That's my mixed air. So that's what's controlling my outside air damper. Yeah, there it goes. And return air is closed. So that's how I'm operating my dampers, and they look like they're operating right. I just gotta figure out where I want this set. So it's gonna do or it's gonna try to do whatever temperature I say. It's gonna modulate those actuators. Alright, now we got it working. Uh just reading over the manual. This is minimum position set point for that outside air damper. I'm gonna leave it closed for right now because I should be able to control them off of this if I can, but therein lies the problem. They're out of business and the manual tells me to contact the manufacturer for actual set points and what they were supposed to be. So we're just gonna have to make some logical decisions and decide what temperature we wanna set our mixed air at. Um, I'm just gonna kinda monitor I'm set on 17 now, and we'll see uh, what our indoor supply temperature does and kind of watch it from there and try to make some decisions on where we want to set this thing, but at least it looks like it's working. That's a good sign. Our returner is closing now. That first wire diagram I looked at was completely wrong. It's a good thing I found this. I'm just noticing when I walked in here, I've got a negative pressure in this building. I got air coming in with this door cracked. I'm gonna assume we need a slightly positive pressure. Might have been why that, uh, might have been why the potentiometer for men position on the outdoor air was open so far. So, before I set anything or do anything else, I'm gonna go down. I think I've got another unit. You see it just the flue pipe just over top there. I'm gonna go down and see what it's set on because I haven't had any problems out of it. And uh, nobody's touched that thing yet. These things aren't that old. I don't know who put them in. Um, they were installed, I guess, a few years ago. But uh, I'm gonna check out my set points down there and see what it's doing and then we can kind of move forward from there and see what uh, settings I might want to set because they're going to need to be set the same. We've got a lot of exhaust in here, so I'm going to need to try to maintain at least a less negative than I got because I'm drawing a lot of air in there. This is the only exhaust fan I've seen. I haven't walked through the space yet, but uh, I'm sure there's some bigger exhaust fans in here. So let's go down and look at the other one, pack my stuff up and move and then I'll go from there and decide what set points I want. So this unit looks older, but I can already tell that's the outside air damper is pretty wide open. Um, they're maintaining a neutral air. Suppliers are low on this one, so I can feel the, uh, I mean, it's probably 65 degree air, which is what my set points were on the electronic thermostat on the other side. Now, this one doesn't have an electronic thermostat, but uh, sounds like maybe my burner just kicked in. I just went to high fire. Um, so I need to get up here and see if I've got the same uh, electric, electronic uh, thermostat for mixed air, which I should, because that looks like the same sensor there. Well, you can see, so, my outside air damper is way, way further open than my return. And that's gonna be because they're trying to maintain some kind of positive. So let's get up here and see what's in that control panel. So it does. 
just under 50 on main position. It's set on 27. It is in the auto mode. So, there are settings here. So, 80, that's mod one. 80, relay two, 72. So I'm going to mark all these and we're going to set these the same. So it's the same setup, it's just not mounted on the inside. This was inside over there. And we'll leave that set and then we'll set our outdoor air. Uh, that way they're both the same because nothing's, like I said, there ain't problems out of this one. Nothing's been done to it that I know of, at least not by us. Looks like it's seen some better days. That's probably why the other one went away. Why that one's new. So I made all my necessary adjustments inside. We set everything the same. I'm gonna set that right there. So it maintains a pretty good temperature if I'm not trying to ventilate. The problem is, is we need to ventilate. Set on 27, so we're gonna do that. Uh, the other one was maintaining about eight degrees. Um, and then we're gonna let it run for a little bit and see what our pr building pressure feels like. These may not be, I don't know if they're the same size units or what, it is the same type. And it's got all the same controls. So, I mean, the best place to start is to get everything back to a normal set point. And then we can dig in and see if there's something else we need to do as far as adjustments for comfort or for ventilation or whatever may be. Let's see where that put my outside air damper. So we're just trying to get back to a normal. We might go a little less than that. The other one was set just a little less. I'm gonna leave it right there for now. We'll see what our building pressure does. I don't know how much exhaust they've actually got running. Actually, I can already feel it. I've got air coming out now. Just a slight amount of air. Whereas earlier we were clearly, we had air blowing in here like crazy. Actually, it is still a negative. We're gonna let it run for a little while and watch this uh, building pressure and see. There's no building pressure control, so we're basically just dumping outside air. I'm, I can't do much else other than open the damn outside air damper. Uh, it's only gonna ventilate as much airflow as it, can, as it can. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so we've adjusted. We're in auto mode. I've adjusted my men position. I'm still playing with my men position because that mixed air sensor is operating both dampers. So my men position affects how much I can modulate because they're both moving together. I got them set close to where the other unit was, just both of them cracked a little bit. And I'm just setting them for a temperature rise of about 50 degrees. That way if we were to hit zero, that we should be able to maintain about 50 degree supplier. Um, they're not trying to heat the space when it gets that cold. They just wanna keep the space at 50 to 55 degrees. So it is to add some outside air for the ventilation just to help make up for some of the exhaust that they have. But they're not necessarily trying to maintain a positive pressure, which I wasn't able to do anyways. I drove it wide open and it was uh, more of an even pressure. It wasn't so much negative, but um, we also need the ability to heat when the temperature drops outside at least a little bit so we can keep the space halfway warm. The other unit does not have the low limit cutoff, which is that mechanical switch. The uh, that low limit cutoff is not being used. They've got it unwired up top, and I think they did that because they had problems when it got cold out with it turning the unit off. So it looks like this thing wasn't really designed for what they were trying to do with it, but. It's gonna work a whole lot better now. 
Um, we're gonna leave it as is. We've talked to them and told them that we might need to adjust and tweak a little bit, but this is gonna be where I leave it for now. Uh, I don't have, I got a wire diagram. I don't have much else information on anything else on the unit or how it was designed to work, but I don't think it's, it's not designed to make up all of the air that they're taking out. They're just trying to keep a neutral air going in so they can maintain 50 to 55 degrees in the space as the temperature drops. As we're 40 degrees out now, we can obviously maintain a warm space because it's nice and toasty inside now. But uh, we're gonna leave it at that, so leave the trade bear and you found it. See y'all next time.